What's up guys? Uh, it's good to be back. I haven't done a video in, I don't know, well, basically three months. Because that's how old my son Max is tomorrow. Three months old. Uh, it's pretty crazy how fast it's gone. Um, obviously I don't have as much time to just come in the garage and make videos and edit all the time right now. But uh, I'm starting to figure out when... I potentially could have those times mainly it's gonna be later at night when he's sleeping or early in the morning when he's sleeping um, so yeah um, not to talk about that too much but uh, in the frog room I haven't done well I guess since the last update I built four tanks which you'll see um, I built four new tanks um, in a matter of two weeks and I completely did all the backgrounds substrate planting so I completed four tanks start to finish in like a matter of I don't know nine days or something um, and I'm not gonna lie I got burnt out um, I was really tired of carving foam and really tired of doing dry lock it was just um, it was annoying so doing four tanks like that like yeah it just I just burned out a little bit so took a little break um, so I just ordered two more tanks two days ago, two, or glass for two more tanks. I'm going to do two at a time, not four. I just get burnt out on four. Um, so I'm doing two more tanks, and i um, got some, some new plans as well. Um, I did end up getting rid of all the 30-inch tall tanks that I needed to get rid of. There was seven of them I needed to get rid of. I got rid of all those, so now that rack over here, which I'll show you guys, um, is completely empty now um, and clear. I'll just pan over and show you. So that used to have tanks on it, now it is clear. Uh, my gimbal battery is dead, so that's why I'm doing it manually. Um, and I didn't feel like charging and waiting, because like I say, my time is restricted. Um, so yeah, those are now, I'm, I'm gonna, I was gonna use this as storage, but I think I'm just going to get another six foot rack and put it on that side next to this four foot rack that I just did. Um, which I'll show you guys right there. That four foot rack is now done. Um, so I'm going to do another six foot rack there and put six 22 by 17 by 24s on it. Sorry, let me fix this. Uh, again, I apologize about the gimbal. Um, so yeah, this six foot rack, I'm going to end up moving four feet down, slipping another four foot rack in here, and that's where I'm gonna do those two tanks. Um, so, I was kinda up in the air on the six foot rack. I thought for a while I was gonna do 30, 33 inch wide tanks, um, and do some, just to have bigger size width, but they'd be the same height. Um, and then I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep everything uniform, do it all 22 by 17 by 24s. Um, so I'm just gonna fill three uh, three tanks for each shelf on the six foot racks. So that'll give me a total of 32 tanks when I'm all said and done. Right now I'm at uh, 16 tanks. Um, so I've got a long way to go. I'm halfway there. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna start doing two tanks at a time. So that way I won't get burnt out. But um, I did add some new frogs as well. I added Dendrobates Tinctorius Matecho. Um, I have a probable female. And I did get two other frogs. Um, there were some older juveniles, but they ended up having a metabolic bone disease, so I'll probably give those away to somebody. Um, I don't think this, the seller didn't realize that they did. Um, but you know, once I got them, I really inspected them, checked them out. I, you know, definitely they definitely got something going on. Um, I did also get uh, four Dendrobates tinctorius Brazilian yellowheads. Um, both Matetro and Brazilian yellowheads are frogs that I've had in the past, um, but. You know, in the old, the smaller frog room that I had before, I was uh, getting into the, lots of the obligates and large obligates. So um, I ended up selling both of those. I wish I never did because I still, I always really wanted them back. So got them back. Hopefully I have uh, a pair out of them. Um, nothing else new breeding. The, the Pena Blanca or Pena Blanca, um, they're still really shy. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. Um, uh, if they get, you know, more bold as they age, then I will. But if not, See you later. Um, and my Vanessa seem to be a pair, so hopefully they get going soon. And, uh, oh well, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Uh, let's get into the frog room and show you what I got going on. Okay, so this is one of the new tanks. Um, it was empty, and right now it is holding the 
Matecho and Brazilian Yellowheads at the moment. Um, none of them are of breeding age, so nobody panic. Um, the two tanks that I ordered are going to be for these two frogs. So um, I should have them done in about a week or two, and these will be moved out. And I will be putting the Bilsa that I have in one of my grow out tanks into this tank. Um, I just have one Bilsa, it's a male. Um, well, there's another little one too, a baby. I'm not sure what the sex is on that one, but um, that's what will be housed in this tank uh, permanently when I do move these ones out. So right now it's just acting as a holding tank. Um, as you can see, that Matecho is um, large, but it's, I mean, as you know, Matecho get huge. So um, still not a breeding age. And the Brazilian Yellowheads, I'd say, are about six months right now. Um, but really stunning frogs. I just love them. I forgot how cool they were. I love the white toes they have. Um, the next tank over, we have the Ufaga Pamilio Salarte. And here's my male who was on display. Also, people ask about that Pamilio quite often. It is the Neoregilia High Voltage. Really cool frogs, they just glow. Moving on from there, we have the Dendrobates Tinctorius Yellowback. And here's my female. She's just an absolute beast. Uh, probably, yeah, she's the biggest frog that I currently own. So we'll see if the Vanessa or Matecho rival her, but as of right now, she's the biggest. Next up is my Dendrobates Tinctorius Vanessa tank. Here you can see my male um, by his huge toe pads and his more slender physique. Really neat frogs, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep these or not, but they really grew on me. I really like just the stark black and white difference in color, and they're definitely different from powder blues. You know, they don't have that vanilla or cream color on their back. It's just straight white, um, and their legs are just white and black. So this is my female here. These frogs are about 10 months right now. Um, they're fairly large in size for the time being. And I'm guessing they'll only get larger. And moving from there, we have the unknown locale Bastimentos. Here's uh, my male. And the male, again, hanging from this bromeliad leaf that he was having some trouble with. Let's see if he makes it. And he got it. And also, here is one of their nice little froglets. Actually, this is a, about a three-month-old. This is called Juvenile now. This is the Pena Blanca Drip Wall Vivarium here. I have the drip turned off right now. Um, just because I felt like it. <laughs> uh, there went a Pena Blanca darting across the screen. Um, here are two more. Really cool looking frogs. They're still growing. Uh, I have quite a bit still left to grow. But they're super shy for me, and unless they get bold as they age, sayonara, I will get rid of them. Because there's no point in having a cool tank with no frogs in it. <laughs> and this is one of the newer tanks. It's the Rio Calubre tank. Still has a lot of growing in to do on the background. But they are breeding in there, so that's a good sign. And my male was on display, so got a couple shots of him. And here he is from earlier today. The one bad thing I don't like about these new LED lights is the um, thing it's doing to the camera. You can see there, like the black and white like lines. So if anyone knows how to get rid of that, let me know. And this tank, here is the Tetrabates Tinctorius Katari. This is my female here. She was very still and made a great shot for the camera. So I definitely had to take advantage of that. From far away, her back actually looks black. And here's the male. Next tank you guys have seen before, it's the Escudo tank, which I'm still looking for a female. And in this tank is the green Cipollini, which you can see my female here. Really nice specimen with the great coloration. Um, she's super bold, great breeder, large frog, kind of hard not to love her. 
I, I like the like lots of heavy spotted sip Halloweeny. This tank is just a froglet grow out that houses yellowbacks, green sips, Katari, um, so, uh, my Bilsa that I need to move into that other tank that we talked about earlier. Um, I'm also going to be redoing this tank, so I do have two 10 gallon grow outs that I just did. I need to move all the frogs out of here into those 10 gallons, redo this tank, and then house uh, some Tintorius in there. Next tank you guys have all seen before as well. This is my Cemetery Bastamenos tank. Here's my male. And in the same plant, a few axles down, there's my huge female. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of froglets in this tank as well. I think five or six running around in there. Here's the Ophaga histrionica bullseye. That's my female there. The male's in that same plant he was calling just momentarily before that. And my female hopped on my hand, so I figured let's get a quick little shot of her. Really nice example of the histrionica bullseye. She's got nice color, nice spotting. Good spotting on the legs. Cool frogs. And here's a histrionica bullseye tadpole. Next is the Sylvatica San Lorenzo tank. I couldn't get any good shots of them, but you guys have seen them before. Same thing with these fine spot leucomelis. You guys have seen them before. And in this tank, we have the Ufaga Lamani yellow. Uh, this is my female. She's probably my favorite frog in my collection. I do like the pattern on the male. Maybe slightly more than her pattern, but sh her feet are pretty much completely white, which I love, and his are not nearly as white. Uh, also, these are some tadpoles that I am raising of theirs. Uh, I've been stealing their eggs and stealing lar other large obligate eggs. Also, after the tadpoles get a certain age, they can also eat tinctorious eggs. There's my male right there. Um, okay, guys, that's gonna do it for this month's update. I hope you enjoyed um the room tour and like i said there's a lot more i still have to do i have to build 16 more tanks so um, i'll be posting you know as i finish out racks i'm not going to post a video every time i finish a tank um that's just going to be too much time making videos i don't i just don't have it um so or if i get new frogs or something maybe i'll do an unboxing video something short and sweet and quick and easy um a lot of adjectives there but uh yeah, so that's going to do it. Um, like I said, till next time, um, hope you enjoyed. And uh, subscribe to me on Instagram. Uh, my... Why? Why can't I just speak? It's like I put the camera on me and I'm just dumb. Um, follow me on Instagram at Ufraga Histrionica. Um, also, you can message me on Facebook. It's the name Troy Goldberg and Youngstown, Ohio. And I look like this. So if you see me on Facebook, which has my face, you'll find me. Um, all right, guys. Till next time. Peace.